Hi, and welcome to uh, Race Tracker MX Screencast. This is an overview screencast, so we'll get started and I'll try and walk you through some of the uh, stuff that uh, Race Tracker MX does for you if you're a motocross rider. So, what we do is we launch the, launch the app and it opens in the window. When it opens to the races window, that's the window you're probably going to want to look at most of the time. Although, when you're starting out like we are right now, that's not where you want to start. We have uh, um, some stuff to enter first and that would be you'd want to enter some riders we have riders here and to enter a rider you just hit the um, plus button and you do the information that's asked for and then hit save we're going to cancel and then over here on the more tab what we want to do before we get to any races we have to have um, bikes for a rider to race so we have some uh, bikes already preloaded in here that comes part of the demo but uh, in order to add yourself or anybody else you'd want to uh, another bike you um, that you're riding is hit the edit button choose add bike then put in the uh, uh, information that's asked for on that uh, we're going to cancel all that too because we already have some in there and go back to the more tab that was bikes and we need some tracks to race at and it comes with three preloaded tracks but if you want to add your own just hit add track and do that so we'd be done hit done so we didn't add any tracks other thing you can do is we have a checklist of items that you can um, uh, look at before you go to a racetrack and you can add items to these checklists of things that you want to uh, bring to the race with and that will help you out uh, during race day to know that you've got everything that you needed because you can uh, check it off and you won't forget stuff uh, in between races. So we got um, riders, remember how to add them, then we'd want to go to the more tab, add bikes and add tracks. Once we had bikes, tracks and riders then we could actually go to races and this race just happens to be preloaded in there this is Southwick and this one happens to say May 18th 2011 if we wanted to add a new race we hit the plus button and remember we added tracks and I said I had three in there these are the tracks and in order for the track to show up in this list it has to be added to the uh, track list and then you just pick a date and we'll do uh, someday in the future July 18th 2012 hit save and you'll see that July 18th, 2012 is right there. But we're not going to use it, so we want to get rid of it. Two ways of getting rid of it. You can do swipe, delete, edit, delete, hit the button, say OK, and you delete that race. Uh, we got the uh, Southwick May 18th, so we click on that. Southwick May 18th comes up. It's up here in the header. And we have classes, 200 Pro and 85cc Beginner. If you want to add a class, just hit Add Class and there's some preloaded in there if that's not what you race then you just come down here and hit add a new class if you make a mistake go to edit delete class so you can either edit, edit the class or delete the class uh, we'll cancel all of that for now uh, if you want to reorder them just click and drag and that's available through most of the application we've got some already loaded into the 200 pro that's already preloaded when you get the app and this is an example or a demo and this is what takes place is these riders have been added and we've added these motos and heats moto practice qualifier moto one and moto two and you'll see that um, we have graph beside two riders and that's they can uh, you can graph their results because they have raced in either the practice or qualifier that is finished so jeff up here is running the ktm evidently he didn't practice or qualify but so maybe he's already um, all set for the moto one race so uh, that's how uh, some of the information you can use here. Let's go down to Moto Heat. Um, I guess we'll show you how to run a moto. Select the moto. This would be Moto 1 200 Plus Pro Moto 1. And you'll see that the lap buttons and the um, checkered flag buttons are disabled right now. When I hit Start button, these will become active. And when a rider completes a lap, you just select the lap button. When a rider finishes across the finish line or gets done racing, just hit the uh, Finish button. In order for this uh, program to save you have to have all the riders uh, finish even if somebody drops out just hit finish then you can put their um, appropriate finishing order in later on so we'll start this and you'll see what happens we got the lap buttons going on here are active and the checkered flags are active when I hit the lap button this number that's in the top field is going to be put into the digital readout here that'll be the previous lap time this is the current lap time previous lap time and the differential from the um, lap before that so nothing's going to come in the differential time down here because we had no lap before that that's lap one 
22.7 seconds and 23 and 24 were the lap times for these riders as they go up there and we'll wait just a second and get to the 22 second area again let's make it a little bit faster this time and this rider had a little bit of hard time so we'll wait and get him so what we have is 21.2 seconds that lap was plus 1.5 seconds faster than the previous lap this one was 2.1 and this rider had a little bit of problems he's at 25.2 so that was one second slower than his previous lap time and you keep doing this throughout the race and when you get to the lap, last lap when you get to the last lap you want to hit the checkered flag button for the rider that finishes and if a rider uh, didn't finish you'd hit anyway but I'm gonna not finish this last one because I don't want to save this so what I have is the option to come up here and cancel this and what you can do with this is you can play around with it and not save a whole bunch of races that don't really count so I'm gonna cancel that and that was Moto 1 and you see that it didn't finish it didn't store any data for that you would have had to finish all the riders so what we did do is we have finished the practice and we're going to click on practice and you go back to basically the same screen but you have the all the riders have finished this moto is run and it's completed and what we can do is select a rider and we will see their lap times okay and we also see the bike detail setup that they had at that time that that race was run so as long as you keep uh, track of the changes and settings you make to the bike and you run a race those current settings are going to be associated with that lap or that, that those motos that moto and those lap times so you'll be able to get an idea of how fast you were how what your performance was and what your bike settings were uh, so we go over here to race detail this is a good place where you can edit you know finish in position and say okay yeah you finish fourth instead of second my mistake so hit done you can go to track conditions you can see where the track conditions were and go to race comments and you can enter comments in and um, have an idea when you come back to the track oh say a year later or maybe six months later you're back to another race there uh, why uh, you had the results you did and what was the performance of the bike so you would have that stuff stored there and um, one other thing that we want to cover in the overview before we get done is um, some of the graphs you can look at we have graph buttons here for Jeremy and Ricky again Jeff didn't race yet so we can go and look at a graph with uh, Jeremy and you see that he was in practice and these are his lap times and the difference between Jeremy and Ricky is Ricky actually ran the qualifier too and you have both lap times so if you were going to come back and uh, say a year from now and you had Moto 1 and Moto 2 in here also you'd want to look at the best lap times and then go back and look at the bike setup that you had in for those lap times want to get out of here just click in the X in the top corner switches back and that showed you all of Ricky's graph Ricky's time for practice and qualify well when we go to practice we have got a graph button up here and what this graph button will do will show you the lap times for all the riders in practice not all the times for one rider this is all the riders in this model which happens to be practice so we get rider 3 and rider 6 and you can see their comparison lap times in uh, practice and over time if you went back uh, qualifier we only had one rider on qualifier so you're only going to see one graph but the more riders you have the more lines you, you know more graphs are going to be in there so let's go to practice uh, we graph those we saw them that's all their times we look at the bike setup for an individual we come over here and there's a bike setup that we looked at before but down here there's a graph time graph button too and we can graph their uh, time Jeremy's time for practice only and this will show you uh, and what we'd use this for looking at for a fall off whether he gets faster or slower over time during the course of a moto and that's basically race tracker MX in a quick overview there's some more things that we can show you and I'll be uh, talking to you in uh, the next screencast to show you uh, how to add riders how to add tracks uh, add items to your checklist how to make changes to your bike and how to link uh, bikes with riders so that you can uh, monitor the performance of the different riders on the different bikes so I'll see you next time